Hello and welcome to this TeamSoft video tutorial on editing the user interface in SAP Business One. So first of all, we're going to take a look at how we can hide and add fields here to our sales order. This will work on any transaction screen in Business One. First of all, we go up to Tools, Edit Form UI, and while we're in this mode, you'll notice that there's a black strap across the top and that's warning us that we're in edit mode. And up here in our form settings icon, we now have a new tab called UI elements. And in here we can say hide the customer reference number, for example. And when we do that, you see that it disappears from here and equally we can bring it back. We can make the customer reference number inactive so that nobody can go in there and type anything or bring that back. Another thing that we can do then is move things around on the screen. So for example, if for some reason we wanted the status to be more prominent, we can click on it and hold it until it changes shape and pull it down here to the bottom. In that instance, we might want to push these back up together to make them uh, look better. So we right click and select them all, use our align feature and align them to the top. Now we still have our status one here, but it's slightly off center. It's not quite in line with those. So what we can do is select all and al align them all to the right this time or the left. So I'm going to align them to the right. And now I know they're still in line with each other, but this one is in a more prominent position. Of course, we could always go into one of our other tabs and decide that we want to bring a bundle of items up. And have them appear on the top of our screen also. Something else we can do while we're in UI edit mode is right click and add a tab. We give it a name here. Okay. And we get our new tab in here. And with this tab, we could add some of the fields that we don't want to have, maybe down here, for example. We can add them up there. Maybe we want the remarks field in there. We can bring that up there as well. You can also edit the size of these fields individually. They're a little bit tricky to do and can take a little bit of effort. And then something else we should be aware of at any time when we right click, we can choose to save or to leave UI edit mode. When we choose to leave UI edit mode, and at this point, you can decide that you do or don't want to save the changes. Always try out these edits in your test environment rather than your live environment. So the next thing we're going to do is to create some UDFs. And the UDF is a user-defined field. We do this with tools, customization tools, and user-defined fields management. In here, then, we get a list of categories and we're looking for the marketing documents and we might want to make a new UDF that will go in the title area of that marketing document. So that will be in this area here. Otherwise, we might want to put it into the rows, in which case we would have to create our UDF down here. But for this exercise, we're going to create one for the title. So we click on the title that makes these become available to us and we add a new one. We need to give our UDF a name. So I'm going to call this one spec sheet. We need to decide is it going to be alphanumeric, numeric, date time, units and totals or general. And in this case, I'm going to put in yes or no. So it's alphanumeric. And as yes and no are only three digits, we'll put in three there. Then the structure is regular or text, and the validation is going to be valid values. The option is none, 
linked to entities, valid values are advanced, and we're going to do valid values. And we're going to create a new one, add another one. And here we can set a default value for the field. So the default value will be no. And is it a mandatory field, yes or no? And we're just going to leave it as it is. And then we're going to add. The database structure has been modified in order to resume. All windows will be closed. Do you want to continue? Yes. And there are other companies logged in. Now I'm going to ignore because this is in our test system, but you should check what's happening there. And we can see here that the spec sheet has been added here. So let's go and open up our sales order again. And now I want to view the user defined fields, which is actually already checked. So I can see them over here. And down here in the bottom, I can see this spec sheet that I have chosen. Going back into the edit form UI, expand the UDF out so that I can see them and pop this onto my screen. So here I can say that the a spec sheet needs to be attached to this document, yes or no. And for as long as it hasn't been attached, that remains no. And when somebody attaches it, they can say yes. Now I left that UI edit mode and I didn't save. So my spec sheet is not up here now, but I wanted to come back to it just because the spec sheet remains down here and I can change the value down here once I'm out of UI edit mode but I'm when I'm creating another sales order. So it is possible to leave them over here on the right hand side if you needed to. So in the same way as we created a new UDF here for spec sheet, I did the same in tools, uh, customizations and UDF management, but this time I did it at row level. And what that means is now when I'm in one of my marketing documents, I can go into form settings I can go to my table format and when I scroll down, I'll see this one that I just created and it's called subject to fees. And it's it's been added to my document here. So when I scroll to the extreme right, I can see that the subject to fees is available for me here and it has defaulted to N for no. And I went back in and populated this document and added an item to it. And now when I scroll to the right, we'll see that I have that drop down menu here for me and it's either yes or no. So subject to fees, yes or no. So that brings us to the end of this introduction to editing the user interface with SAP Business One.